We're only a few days away from launch. I'm so excited, so much so that you can pre-download the game if you got it on PSN. I'm gonna have that shit downloaded, just ready waiting for the launch. So remember about a week ago, I talked about a build that looked demonstrative, right? In terms of attributes and badges, it looked like it had it all. Slowly, over the last week, Mike Wang, a bunch of other devs on Twitter been releasing info, and I'm gonna like, yo, there's been some new builds popping up, like this could be amazing. It hurts because like, y'all know, like, I'm a sharpshooter, right? But the longer I look at sharpshooters, literally the only thing at this point keeping them alive is Hall of Fame Limitless Reign. If for whatever reason that was patched, it'll be game over. Which is part of the reason why I put Stretch Bigs on my top five worst builds. A pure Stretch doesn't even have Hall of Fame Limitless. We still don't know if a 6'5 plus sharpshooter is gonna have tier two dribbling. For those who missed that, I'm gonna have another video. There's three tiers to dribbling. And if you're not at least a tier two and you're a guard, at that point, are you just doing catch and shoot? So I'm waiting for a response on that. Y'all know I'm gonna go through and do all the tests. So I'm gonna make one build off rip and hopefully it doesn't fail. Although like most builds at launch will. Because, I mean, for a lot of reasons, I'm sure you guys have seen videos. I watched some streams. People already have the game, apparently. I was like, yo, yo, show us this on the stream. Because I was trying to get some info. So we, we don't know what the gold badges or the silver or the bronze badges are. Which means, in that video where I talked about the shop creator sharpshooter, I said over and over again, it all depends on if limitless range is gold. Because if it's gold, that's a game changer for many reasons. But we won't know until launch, right? So I'm waiting on that. I thought that's something we'd be able to do in the pre but apparently not and then some info was released earlier today and I had my eye on this specific build I'm making any videos on it nothing but I was watching this build man I was just going out to grab I was I'm not gonna lie to y'all I was buying some chicken tenders bro I was hungry and I wasn't I didn't want to cook y'all been cooking me last week from plate cleaner fridge Hey, this ain't news to me I know I'm well aware of my circumstances currently that's besides the point though. But then when this info dropped today about which builds can get the tier three dribbling, changed everything. So Mike Wang and Zach, two devs, were talking about speed boost. Ever since they put out their initial tweets, people have been having so many questions because we can't go into the attributes, we don't know what the specific badges are, so we have so many questions on which build we can make, there's so many variables we aren't sure about yet. Zach put out a tweet saying, the following are archetypes that will allow you to reach 86 ball control rating. And they divided this into two. There's an 86 ball control, which gives you the tier three dribbling, but there's also a 90 ball control. Mike Wang clarified by saying the 90 ball control will unlock new elite rhythm dribble. So not only now do you have the explosive step of tier three dribbling at 86, but once you hit 90, you get new moves you can also use. So that means if you're a playmaker, you're going immediately to the 90 plus ball control and you're choosing from one of those builds. This also meant for me that the shot creator sharpshooter was not at 86 plus. And I know that just because you didn't hop into tier, even if you're on the high ceiling of the tier two dribbling and you're 82 ball controller or you have decent acceleration, it doesn't mean you're gonna be just as explosive as like a 6-6 pure sharp. Like I understand the significance that attributes are gonna have. That being said, I've been eyeing this build, the playmaker with the sharpshooter. Now y'all know pretty much anything I have to do that's comp, I'm gonna have to have sharpshooter in there. And I think a lot of people are gonna do that this year. And initially when all this archetype business was launched, I knew this was gonna be a super popular build, but for many reasons I thought, nah, I don't know if it's gonna be that hot. But as more info was releasing over the last week or so, it's becoming more clear to me that if you didn't like moving shots, which meant that you didn't wanna be a shot creator, and you wanted to dribble and get yourself open and basically shot create, because what you're doing is you're creating your shot, is this seems like the perfect archetype. The negative with this build and is why I like my shot creator sharp build so much is that you don't have the same level of badges. With the shot creator sharp, you were coming out with tireless scorer hall of fame, difficult shots hall of fame, two of the best badges in the game. With this build, you get no hall of fame badge. So I mentioned in previous videos, if you're making bets between attributes or badges, which you think 2K is gonna value more. Based on all the info we have, pretty much everyone at this point should be going by attributes. Which means you won't be as devastated that this specific build has zero hall of fame badge. I mean, in total, it only has eight gold badges. So you can hope and pray that Limitless is one of those gold badges, Long Range Dead Eye, but chances are, those are one of the nine silver badges. That on top of the fact that for the most part, aside from maybe Dimer, the, the badges on the Playmakers are, are fairly useless. Not that they're useless, but they're just ineffective relative to some of the badges the Sharpshooters have, or the Shot Creators have, or the Slashers have. So it really depends on your playstyle. Everyone's trying to look for the best possible build, but the best build for me is gonna be very different from most of your guys' best builds. If you like to dribble OD, 
then you're not gonna wanna go pure sharp. But I know I'm gonna have a pure sharp in 2K18. Regardless of how slow they end up making the sharp, if you can pull from half court, you're doing your team wonders just by being on the court. So people are looking at pure sharps, they're going, oh my, what are we gonna do guys? I'm not gonna make it this year. And, and I don't know many people making pure sharps, and maybe you can let me know in the comments, but I haven't been seeing much of it on social media. And if y'all need me to do it, I will hop on the park and pro-am, things up, and then people will go, yup, limitless range, we need to go back to the sharp. Cause as cool as it is to blend things, you're gonna need that stretch on the floor that the sharpshooters provide. Regardless, there's actually another build that I've been looking at, and this one I didn't even think about, because y'all know I wasn't really looking at big man builds, but somebody, I forgot who it was, tweeted this to me, and a lot of y'all been tweeting me, oh AJ, I think this could be the best build. I've been seeing that so much, I'm like, I don't wanna hear it. Fact, some of y'all been tweeting me, yo agent, is this gonna be a good build? And it was one of the builds on my top five, do not make this build, build. This second build has a special place in my heart because I don't know how comp it's gonna be, but I think it's gonna be super solid, but more than any of that, I know it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. The build I'm talking about is a shot creating primary with a driving and finishing secondary. And, and not just that, right? But you gotta make him 6'10", as tall as you can go. Actually, how tall can, I have it in the background right now. Yup, you can go as tall as 6'10". Not only will you be one of the quickest 6'10 players on the game, but your mid-range is gonna be money, so you at least have a shot. You're getting gold tireless score, mid-range dead-eye, difficult shots, relentless finisher, and probably a couple gold slasher badges, one of which we hope is gonna be posterizing. Not only will you be slamming on foe, you're 6'10", you're gonna be dribbling decent because when you have shot creator primary, you get a pretty significant boost to your ball control. But you're gonna be dribbling around 6'10", dunking on folks and you can shoot the mid range. Now that's why I said it's not gonna be a comp build at least for me is because you're not gonna be shooting the three point shot unless it's a moving shot and even then it's probably not gonna be a great percentage so I wouldn't bother. But this build is getting me excited because I'm not gonna choose a big just because they, they feel slow. I like having the ball in my hands. One may or may not call me a ball hog in certain situations. But I could definitely get used to this build. I'm gonna have all kinds of crazy builds but this is gonna be one of those builds where, especially if you like to slash, oh, I just feel like it's a perfect blend. The only thing I wish is I wish there was a few more Hall of Fame badges on it, like at least three, three would have been dope. The only Hall of Fame badge is Teardropper, arguably like one of the worst. Like why would you teardrop anything if you're a secondary slasher? I wanna destroy you. That's why I chose a slasher is I wanna dunk on you and embarrass you in front of your friends. But instead they got me doing cute teardrops and shit. Like, I'm not gonna be using that. In fact, I'm never, <laughs> actually I might grind for that. I don't know, like, <laughs> would you grind for teardropper, Hall of Fame? That seems like a serious one. So y'all got it here, man. If you go through, and I'm gonna leave a playlist link in the description and a card. If you go through, I'm making a shot creating sharpshooter, right? He's gonna be around 6'2 point guard. I'm gonna be making a 6'5 or a 6'6 pure sharpshooter, right? It's gonna be wavy with that Hall of Fame limitless range once I grind the badges. Now I'm gonna be making a playmaking primary, a three point shooting secondary for the times where I'm trying to dribble. Six foot five, just cross people out, shoot from hopefully silver limitless range with silver long range dead eyes, we could hope. But I'm also gonna have the build where I just slam on folks with the shot creating primary and the driving and finishing secondary. I'm gonna have them all, and depending on the people around me, the different circumstances, I'm gonna be using different ones. But those four builds, at least until we get the game and we get a chance to really experiment, a month into launch, we're gonna know a lot about the builds, right? And slowly Mike Wang will tweet out some info so we don't have to find out for himself. Right? He tweeted saying, pro tip, play around with the walk and size ups. They will change your life. Now, Mike Wang, you know, that's a bold statement right there. And, and when he says stuff like that, I just can't help but get myself a player who's tier three dribbling at least the 90 plus ball control, which is why I'm making that playmaking sharpshooter. In the comments down below, I want y'all to leave a comment on the first build you're gonna be making when NBA 2K18 comes out. There's no seriously safe build. It feels like there's variables we don't know because last year, we could upgrade and see the attribute points for the specific builds we were trying to make in the prelude. This year, not only can't you do that, but we don't know what the gold, silver, or bronze badges are for most of these archetypes. Like even last year, even though I guessed right with sharpshooters, I still guessed wrong because I made my player's wingspan too short. On my second player, I had to make it longer. I also made him 6'5". I wanted him to be 6'6". There was so much we didn't know, so we don't know if this year it's worth actually upgrading strength, although based on what we've seen in the prelude, 
it seems like it should be. Like there's so much that changed is that no matter what anybody says, there's gonna be some room for error. I just wanna make sure that when I'm creating my builds that I don't wanna have to remake everything and delete builds or never use builds again that I spent money and time on just because of a small error. And that's really all it takes. If you like to play casual, it's not really gonna matter whatever build you make. But if you wanna like at least be average or really good or let alone comp, like the smallest thing is gonna make the biggest difference. And we won't know so much that no, like I, there's only gonna be a handful of people that end up making a build that they stick with the entire year round. Anyway, that being said, yo, drop a like if you guys are, no, no, I mean it's subscribe if you guys are new, regardless of whether you're new or not, drop that like though. I'm gonna catch you guys later, I'm back on this daily shit, last few days have been a bunch of weird type of uploads, man. I just been, I don't, I don't know what's up with me, man, I'm just, anyway, I'm gonna catch y'all later, I'm out, peace.